In this video I'd like to show you the best way to run your Hitachi heat pump and explain to you how to make it work cheaply and effectively. So first thing you'll find is that all of our systems come with some kind of controller which looks very like this. This is a controller which is really used by the commissioning engineer and doesn't really control the machine. The machine will be controlled with some kind of thermostats inside the house or in the case of underfloor heating you could have 10 or 15 of these. In this case we've got a NES controller so to start the machine all you need to do is wind the thermostat up and when it goes orange the unit will start operating. To stop it and in the summer months all you need to do is turn your thermostats down again. Your installer will show you exactly how to use your thermostats and which ones control which rooms. The key to running the unit effectively is don't let the temperature of your house go really cold. If you want 21 degrees C in the house, the best thing to do is never let the temperature of the house drop much below about 19 degrees, even when you go on holiday. Heat pumps work best when they're only letting the temperature drop a couple of degrees and only having to bring them up a couple of degrees at a time. The Hitachi unit is very clever. What it does is it looks at your outdoor temperature and it uses this to determine exactly how hot the radiators need to be. So you'll see the radiators are very hot in cold weather and they'll be much cooler as the weather warms up. This is called weather compensation and it saves you an enormous amount of money. Your installer will have left you a copy of our book and in the book it very clearly explains to you about weather compensation. So you can see here as the weather gets colder the temperature of your radiators will begin to rise. All this information is also available from our website www.freedomhp.co.uk and you can download this simple manual which will help you with your system. When, when you go to your Hitachi controller what you should normally see is both modes are on. So if you look here this is C1 for heating this would be on and it will show the temperature the unit wants to run to. You'll also see in very small writing here it says off and this is because the unit currently does not have a run signal from the thermostat. As soon as I turn my thermostat up you'll see this changes to on. Now we receive a run signal you can see there's a symbol showing that the unit is running and a little pump symbol to show the unit is operating. So normally you would see this temperature here showing what we're trying to achieve in heating mode. When the unit's running, you'll see here a little symbol that shows the outdoor unit is running and also our water pump. So this is a completely normal screen. What you'll also see is in heat in hot water mode or DHW, if this is switched on as well, you can see the machine working in hot water mode and it's bringing in its little electric heaters to help. This is the normal screen that you should see when you're looking at your machine. But should anything go wrong with it, the temperature display here will disappear and you will see a three digit fault code, something like 070 or 011 or something like that. If this occurs, you need to call an engineer, but it's very simply cleared by selecting heating, pressing on and then off again, and hot water again on and off again and you'll see the error will disappear but if anything's really wrong with the machine the fault codes will arrive again have a look on YouTube and see our videos which show what these fault codes mean hopefully this explains very simply how best to use your unit and how to get the most efficient operation out of it thank you very much for buying a Hitachi heat pump and give us a call if you need any help